What is going on, my Carb Nation? I am Bob Jaldroid, and I am here with another video. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Carp Nation. Yes, that is right. I have just changed my name in my channel, and if you haven't seen, I have changed the wallpaper on my main channel to Magikarp. Uh, so, I have decided to rebrand my channel. I will still be called Bobsy Battle Droid. I will be still known as that. For the channel, I have decided to just uh, change it up. I feel that making the name Pokemon relevant might help me get out a little bit more. And, you know, who doesn't love Splash, right? It's derpy, and I will be fine doing that. But that's not really the focus of the video today. The focus of the video today is talking about the 2017 format rotation. So just about, uh, well, uh, on Poke Beaches here, it says posted 17 hours ago. We have what we know from the next rotation. We know what's going to the next rotation is going to be, and it's going to be Primal Clash all the way through Steam Siege. That's just crazy. Um, people had thought that it was going to be well. Some people had thought it was going to be from Phantom Forces on to Steam Siege, but that is not going to be the what's going to happen. And I'm kind of um excited and then not excited at the same time. Um. I'm excited that we will see, well, we won't see any Night March now. Um, Karen won't really be used, I don't think, a whole lot. I mean, the only reason for it would be Vespa Quinn, but Vespa Quinn really doesn't work all that well by itself. Um, we're going to not see any more, uh, we are not going to see any Battle Compressor, which makes a huge difference, because now players won't be thinning out their decks, which kind of makes me slightly worried about how N's gonna shake the format up because you know the strategy was is that if everyone plays N and they know that you get down to one prize your opponent's gonna end you you want to have a good you want to have a good top deck so you're gonna thin out your deck with battle compressor get rid of you know stadiums that you don't need anymore maybe energy switches or something that you don't think you need or some other irrelevant trainer that really needs to be used in early on in the game so you know Maybe a trainer's mail or something it doesn't really have much of a purpose anymore. But you want to go into top deck mode so you can hit those VS Seekers, the Lysanders, all of the cards that are important late game. And so this is really going to shake up the format a lot. And I'm just excited to see what's going to happen. Um, you know, it's going to be exciting. I really don't think... I think Pokemon really just wanted to get rid of uh, Night March, maybe. That's maybe why they got rid of Phantom Forces. Fortunately, my, my Gengar EX is going to rotate out. That makes me sad. Um, I mean, if we knew that everything else was going to be rotated out. But this is big news that Phantom Forces is going to be also getting uh, jumped over through that. Um, I'm excited for this new format. We're going to see some big... EX has come back, I think, though, without Night March. Guaranteed, right? For sure. I mean, Night March destroyed a lot of big, big decks. Um, I'd like to see how this is going to really work out. Um, I mean, maybe we see some Primal Graveling come back into it. I don't know. But that's going to be about it for this video. Um, stay tuned for some more videos. And that's about it for this. And just FYI, guys, some of my videos I'm going to be still saying that might not be having my channel, you know, saying uh, Splash Nation instead of Bob Nation. Not a big deal, but I just have one more video that I'm going to post Wednesday. This is just going up as quickly as I re can record it because this is breaking news. Um, so it's very important. That's going to be about it for this video. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys later in the next video.